Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial video. Um, so today's tutorial is going to be about how to use some of the basic guided munitions, targeting pod, things like that. Um, we're going to be using GBU-12s today and GBU-38s. Um, the JDAM, the GBU-38, is a satellite guided weapon so it does not require a laser to hit a target, whereas a GBU-12 is laser guided and therefore requires a laser to hit the target. Um, we're going to be firing laser from our targeting pod. You can also get it buddy lased by a JTAC or a drone or something like that that can fire laser or another aircraft, any other aircraft um, as long as you set it to the right laser code. We're not going to be doing that today. We're just going to be doing um, lasing it ourselves. Um, so main differences between GBU-38s or JDAMs, the Joint Direct Attack Mission, and the laser-guided GBUs. Um, GBUs in real life are a little bit more accurate because they have that laser and they can hit slowly moving targets. JDAMs are a little bit less accurate and can't hit moving targets, but JDAMs you can drop when you can't see the grounds, i.e. when it's overcast. Um, GBUs, it, you need it to be fairly clear so that the laser can go through the clouds um, unless it's being lased by JTAC or something. Um, in DCS, it doesn't really matter because lasers do still, they go through clouds, they don't get masked as they should, but we'll just gloss over that. We have good conditions today anyway. Um, but other than that, they're pretty much going to be using them exactly the same. Uh, controls we're going to need today. So first access commands you can also just bind this is radar cursor switch um i have a little joystick basically a mini joystick on my hotas that i use um but like i said you can bind it to keyboard or whatever else we're going to need display management switch down uh i don't think we need the other ones if we do need the other ones i'll come back to it i just I forget off the top of my head it's because I just kind of muscle memory for it. We're also going to need um, target management switch up, target management switch left, um, and uh, trigger first and second detent, um, first detent anyway. Um, we're going to need expand slash FOV button and uh, manual ranging knob clockwise and counterclockwise. Um, and weapon release button, of course. So, we'll go here. Um, first thing to do to set this up, we want to go air to ground mode, which is, um, two on your keyboard, or you can set whatever you want to it. I have my own binding for it on my HOTAS. Um, we're going to want to come over here. It's going to default us on our right MFD to the SPIS page, which is what we want. So you can see here, it says 1GB38, which we have over there. Um, and power off, you want to click the OSB 7 next to power off, turn that on. And then we're going to want to come over here where it says right MFD OSB button 6. Press that next to where it says said GB38 and switch this to our GB12. Then we want to come to right MFD OSB 2, where it says CCIP right now. Click on that, set that to CCRP. Difference between those, CCIP, continuously computed impact point, is for dive bombing essentially, so it'll give you a little pipper on your HUD and you put that on the target and then press the release button to drop bombs. Um, CCRP is continuously computed release point, which is what we're going to be doing today, which is basically straight and level bombing. Um, and it will give you a steering cue that you can see that vertical line on our HUD. Um, and we are, and it'll give you a horizontal release cue that's gonna descend and you'll have a timer as well um, for when you want to release the bomb. Another thing we wanna do here for our GB12, press um, OSB5 where it says control, and we're gonna change the release angle to zero. Um, so it's for flying the straight level. I think. Um, we'll use the GB12 first. So now on our left MFD, we want to click OSB14. Right now we have FCR box, the fire control radar. We want to change this to TGP with OSB19 now. And you can say it says not soy. So we want to press DMS, display management switch down, make that soy. You have that white box around it, it gets with no soy. 
Um, so right now you can see right here it says we are in TV mode. We want to press target management switch left or you can press the OSB6 next to that. So I go through black, white hot sorry, and black hot and background. We'll leave it in black hot for today. Yeah, it's just dependent on conditions. Um, now we can now slew this around with our um, uh, the what's it called? I'm sorry, I forget what it's called. Um, that's what it is. Radar cursor switch. Um, you can slew this around. You can change the field of view with the field of view button, and with the um, manual ranging knob, clockwise, counterclockwise. You can zoom that in as well and out. Now. Let's find our target. I'm gonna find this now. Oh, there we go. Here's one of them. If I go through these, I'm gonna leave it on white hot actually. It's a little bit better maybe. Um so this is our first one, this Sam right here. So as you find your target, you wanna press um target management, switch TMS up, change that to a point track. One other thing I almost forgot to say, obviously you want to have your master arm on, turn your laser on here so we can fire the laser, and then if you press and hold um, trigger first detent, you can see you have that laser L flashing, it means that the laser is firing. So I'm going to take this out of active pause and we're going to line this right up on the target over here. Just line it up with that steering cue. We'll speed up a little bit here. You can see on the right hand side of the HUD you have the distance to the target that's descending. We're at about 11 miles now and time to release is just below that, 28 seconds. So we'll fly towards this here. And then at about 5 seconds or so we will press and hold weapon release. We'll press and hold that now. Three, two, one. You can see that cue there. And there's the pickle. Now we'll press and hold trigger first detent you can see our GPU is gone and we're gonna do a bit of a left hand turn now just so we're not gonna overfly the target directly and we'll come back here a bit just because we want that teapot to still be able to see it so we can laze it and we can press this you can see that nicely there so you can see the teapot a little bit better. That's left alt F1, by the way. That's how I record all my teapot footage. And there we go. That's a splash. That's a shack. There's one down. You can see over there, you can see the smoke from that target. So that's a good kill. All right. Now we're going to fly out here a little bit. And while we're doing that, let me just trim this back out. Because we've lost 500 pounds from our right wing. Um, now we'll come over to our right MFD, press OSB6, set that to the GBU38 now. And then we need to make with our Epod Soy again by pressing um, uh, DMS down again. And I like to fly out about 10 miles or so. So we're getting there now, we're at about 8.5 miles. And we'll start our turnaround here now. Let's pull a couple of G's. I'll just go into active pause here again so we can get our next target. So, we can slew this around. 
and I can see that it's right there through those trees, so we'll find that, press TMS up again, get a point track on that. We don't have to laze this, which is nice, they're fire and forget. I like to use them kind of more than GBUs because if there's like AAA or any other dangerous stuff in the air areas, rather, I can just drop them and then I can get out of there and I don't have to worry about that bomb anymore. So we'll unpause this now. We've got 10 seconds to release. You can see that release key coming out. Whoa. That's a pickle. And we'll do our little left hand a little bit again here. set this up and watch that because I'll probably record these things maybe post them as reels because it's always fun to look at teapot footage seconds or so until impact. You can see that on the HUD and the teapot. Three, two, one. And as you can see, a little bit less accurate than the LGB. Probably didn't knock out that tank, but damaged it. And I'm sure the crew are a little unhappy and shaken right now. But I think that gets the point across. I hope that you found this video helpful and informative. Really, GBUs and stuff, they're not that difficult. You just gotta practice it a little bit. Um, but you can, I'm sure you can get the hang of it pretty quickly. And then you can start blowing up targets because that's always fun. I absolutely prefer air-to-ground combat than air-to-air, -air, mostly because I suck at air-to-air. But yeah, anyway, I will do what I usually do in every video and thank you about 15 times for watching because I don't know how to end these. So thank you again for watching. I really genuinely appreciate it. If you want to consider subscribing, following me on Instagram. Um, I'll link that in the description of the video. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a good one. I hope you found this useful and I'll hope I see you next time.